go to that living room, go to that family room, go to that rascal, tell them to come on and sit down with you because you are watching now. Them is your people. Tonight's episode of Them Your People is brought to you by Natalie's Restaurant. Closed captions for tonight's episode of Them Your People is brought to you by RX Outreach. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. It's jazzy. It's right. It's that little black dress for morning or night. Hey, we're at the History Museum here in Forest Park, and there's a lot of stuff that's going on. There's an exhibit that you got to get over and check out. So, ladies, you all know about that little black dress. When do you wear it? What do you accessorize it with? But guess what? Men, you know you love to see the ladies in the little black dress, too. So what do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. Let's go in and see what the exhibit is all about today. Okay? <laughs> okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. Why am I the king of hospitality? Because I can take you to where you need to be, and I get to take you to who you need to see right now it's all about the LBD what is that the little black dress that's right we've got a wonderful event here right at the history museum and the links the links the links they're linked up and they're gonna tell us all about it who do we have with us I'm Cheryl Jones hello Miss Cheryl how are you now where are you from I'm from st. Louis oh my god and you're a national officer is that I right? am a national oh. uh, person on the national board oh my god now listen Tell us what does this mean? What is what is all this gathering with all these black dress and these pearls and everybody's looking so good? Tell the people what this is all about, Cheryl. So thank you for that. So what it's really about is that uh, national uh, trends, we do so many wonderful things um, with young people. And what this is doing is just highlighting what we have stood for for over 30 some years here in the St. Louis area. Wow. So wow, wow. we love, love, love trying to make an impact. Okay. And we like to dress up, but more importantly, oh, oh we God. don't just dress up, we actually do something to change the community, and that's what it's all about. Okay, well, I tell you what, we've got another person that everyone knows for doing things for, for changing the community. Who do we have with us? This is Joanne Hamilton Parks. I am the president of the Gateway Chapter. Oh. Now, now let, to whom much is given, much is required. Let me, how does it feel to be the president? Uh, it's an honor, and yeah. it's very humbling uh, to serve leaders, mm -hmm. because these women are leaders, so it, it is an honor. Okay, well, let me just say something to you in front of everyone that's watching right now. There's nothing humbling about your event today. From head to toe, you got it going on. How do you do it? What is it all about when you come out dressing up, but it's for a cause? It's for a cause. It's about women and providing service. So it wasn't about just Gateway, even though we're celebrating our 30th anniversary. We had service organizations, top ladies, uh, National Council of Negro Women. We had the other two uh, link chapters, St. Louis and Archway, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Alpha, Delta Sigma Theta, you name it, they were here today. Okay. So the black dress is not about mourning. We're sassy, we're sexy, but we want you to know we can also provide a lot of service in a black dress. So let me tell you something. If you want a lady that's sassy, Links. Classy, links. Service to the community, links. Got it going on, the links. So what do you say, what do you say? I'm with the links. They're sassy, they're classy. Ha! They're links, okay? <laughs> okay.
What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. Guess what? Always when there's a big event that's going on, when there's a hot event that's going on, there's a cause that's going on, there's people in the backgrounds that come to the front. And you can say, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I am fine. How are you doing? I am wonderful. Tell everyone who we have with us. Well, you have Peggy Lewis LeCompte, mm -hmm. citizen of the Metropolitan St. Louis community. Yes. And that's good. That's a great story. That's now, enough. Now we're going to do roll call. See, here's your people. When you look at people and they look so, so humble and they just look like they're here to support, that's a good thing. But this is one of the people that's been working in the trenches, you all, for real. When I bring it to you, I bring it to you, Chase. Because this lady right here, she ain't nothing but the truth. Now let's start. Now, Alpha Kappa Alpha, you did a little something with them. Uh, yes, I'm a four-time interviewer. Currently, I'm the chairman of the former director of members coordination team. Uh, expressed job of making sure that those who served in the past are recognized in the future. Oh my God. Talk to me about that. How important is it for people when they give service, they give their time, they're away from their families, uh, they don't get home to do that table time and dinner, uh, they spend a lot of weekends <laughs> away. How important is it that once they go out of office that they're still remembered and recognized? Well, I think if no other reason uh, for the recognition than the fact that if you don't know where you've been, you will not know where you're going. There you go. means that you should re recognize your past, mm -hmm. salute them for what they've done because it is a big sacrifice. Sometimes yes. we don't realize ourselves how much we sacrifice. Okay. Reality check right now. So if you've got an organization, right, you've got former officers, you've got people who volunteered, people that's done a whole lot of things, you need to take time to recognize them and don't forget about them and don't think you should just show up at the funeral and say, oh, they did such a good job. Is that right? Funeral? Uh, oh, please don't say that. There have been so many of those lately. But you're right. Give us our flowers while we can smell them if we like flowers. Personally, uh, in my personal life, I don't like gifts nor flowers. I ask that everything people give me is given to the foundation. I have two endowed chairs, okay. one in my sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha, and one in Top Blades of Distinction. Those will be lasting memorials. Oh, uh, youth will be served. They'll be able to go to school. And if they just send the money there, the money will grow. And I'm, I'm, I'm just unbelievably pleased that I finally realized I didn't need another bowl or another <laughs> black. I, okay. I really am. The word is all about Miss Peggy Lewis LeCompte. She's a hard worker. She's out here in the community making it happen for your people. So what do you say? What do you say? I, I do have one thing I want to say. Hold on, say. girl. I'm trying to hit you am with the scepter. Am I being blessed? Well, because you, you are people. We got to hit you first. Oh, okay. Now go ahead. I just want to thank the members of the Metropolitan St. Louis community who uh, answered the call when I was chairing the Dred Scott Foundation Freedom Awards dinner with the intent of paying for the statue that's downtown that has been established, that's been erected. And I want you to know that that statue is now paid for. Wow. And but I am glad. Watching and they don't understand. They don't know Dred and Harriet Scott. Tell well, me. then they need to go to the... Well, nothing we're doing as an African-American people uh, and minorities would be done had it not been for the... Uh, valiant efforts of Dred and Harriet Scott. Okay. okay. Uh, and, you know, there wouldn't have been a Dr. Martin Luther King or a Malcolm X, or there wouldn't have been integration. None of the things that we, none of the freedoms we enjoy had they not sacrificed themselves, fought the fight to be free, uh, and right here in Missouri. Right, right here in Missouri. So what do you say? What do you say? On them, your people, we educate, we excite, we engage, and we entertain. Guess what? E is for education. Ha <laughs> ha! You just got a big, big education rule from none other than the top lady, Peggy Lewis LeCompte. What do you say? What do you say? These are our people, okay? <laughs> okay. STL Workforce Centers offer skill based training agencies that are convenient and accessible to everyone 16 to 30 years of age and ready to work. Classes include immediate training for in demand industries that fit who you are and where you want to be. Being an entrepreneur is a point to me because I could be my own boss. Like I can say, y'all gotta better yourself and you get your trading skills up and start your career what you love doing. I feel good. I'm putting myself to good use. To see these wonderful people get it and be able to go on and do great things, it's a wonderful experience for me and for my coworkers and people that work around us and I'm, I'm glad to be a part of this. We provide child care assistance. We provide transportation. So there is no reason why you should not be able to advance and find a career. Call today, 314-900-WORK. That's 314-900-9675.
What do you say when he says, Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality? Why am I the king of hospitality? Because you said so. I can take you where you need to be, and I can take you to who you need to see. And right now, all roads lead right here to Kingdom House. Now, I bet you say Kingdom House. What is that? Is that a house where they party? Well, kind of, sort of. Is it a house where they learn? Yeah, well, kind of, sort of. Is it a house where they learn right from wrong? Yes, definitely. It's Kingdom House. Hey, who do we have with us? I'm Scott Walker. Hey, Scott Walker. How are you today? I am good. Now good. you tell me, what is Kingdom House? You know, Kingdom House is a holistic place where kids and families get the help they need to achieve a better life. Okay, now when we talk about help, tell me some type of help that they get. You know what? Our big focus is around education, education. with both adults and children. Oh, my God. Education rules the nation, doesn't it? It does, and we think that is really the way out of poverty and to a better life for That's everybody. That's right. That's right. See, just because you grew up in an environment that maybe wasn't the one that you wanted to grow up in, right? When you know better, you do better. So guess what? The kids come down. I understand. And you guys have an after school program. Tell us some more stuff. We do. After school, a big summer camp that's got a lot of literary components to it. Mm -hmm. um, we then have a big newer program called Kingdom Academy that helps under resourced kids in high school that okay. go from low performing schools to get out of high school right. and into something post secondary, okay. whether it's a job vocation or yes. community college or four year college, so they can have a life sustaining life. Oh my God. Now listen. So we talk about Kingdom House. How many years have you guys been here? You know what? We've been here since 1902, so 1902. 114. Oh yeah. Oh, my God. If they ain't learned nothing since 1902, they ain't going to learn this guy. You know, it's a continual learning process, right? Oh, my right? God. That's what it is. So now you all are also affiliated with the United Methodist Church. You know what? We were started by the United Methodist Church and are greatly supported by the church. Oh, my God. Listen, how important is it for church people to know that outreach just doesn't only happen in your church, but it also happens outside your church because of programs and situations such as this? Well, a big part of church is outside the walls of the oh church. My, and forget it. They get it twisted. You know what? And this is a way for them to serve and give back. That's right. Listen, so you all are in the neighborhood. I've been here before. Um, when our church was being built, we, rolled, we, we um, built from um, a situation where we had to come here and worship on Sunday mornings, right? I've also been here for a repast. Someone died. They had the repast right. up here. You see the kids coming. Uh, one of your volunteers... Um, a lot of them in the community, right, for Dr. Martin Luther King. They always come down and right. they march. So Kingdom House, you guys have been on the map for a long time. We have been, and we're so holistic in what we do, so we touch a lot of lives in a lot of different ways. Okay. Well, listen, I need you to look into the camera right now, and I need you to tell me, how can people get involved if they want to be involved, be a part of this? What do they need to do? Well, I would encourage them to get on our website and learn a little bit more about us and all the different programs we have, mm -hmm. and then just come on down and set up a time to tour, and we'd be happy to give you a tour and show you around and, and talk about the different ways you can be engaged, because okay. we have no limits on what that can look like. Oh, my God. Well, summer is coming. Are you excited about all these little ones coming from all over in the summertime? We are. You know, summertime is the funnest time at Kingdom House. Oh this place God. just rocks and is full of kids, and oh we're God. rolling out a brand new literacy program this year that okay. is going to have a great impact on the little ones. Yes, sir. Listen, they're rolling it out. It's down here. Hey, teachers, those of you off for the summer who just can't get enough of the young ones, I guarantee you they want you to come down and volunteer. You may not be a teacher. You may be someone who just loves children or you want to just get in here and get in the mix, right? When young people see older people involved in their lives, loving on them, they absolutely love it. And guess what? Kingdom House will absolutely love you for doing it. So what do you say? What do you say? I'm Mr. Gary. Hey, guess what? I need a website address. www.kingdomhouse.org. Kingdomhouse.org. Okay? <laughs> okay. I got your people. Who do we have with us? Misty Johnson, coordinator of after school and summer camp program here at Kingdom House. Oh, my God. Hey, Misty, how you doing? I'm fine. Girl, yourself. you got your hands full. Yes, don't you? I do. Oh, my God. You're here with the, you're here with the people's kids. Mm -hmm. Is that wonderful? Yes. Tell me how important it is to have programs such as this for young people to have a safe haven, continue their learning. How important is this? Um, it's very important. I know a certain piece in our program is that we are a CDF Freedom School program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's a national program that pretty much is a reading program. Okay. So the children over the summer go through about 30 books that they read and wow. get to take home and build their own personal library, okay. something that we don't find in our community. Okay. You know what? And reading is fundamental. It's it? very. You know, if you can't read, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's nothing to laugh about. No one can do anything without reading, yeah, right? Yes. It's time to pick up a book, and it's just something so simple as picking up a book, right, and sitting there and starting the process to mm -hmm. learn, right? Mm -hmm. Who do we have over here? Uh, you do our Patterson. Now, do you put that uh before it? 
or after? No. Eudora Patterson. Hey, I'm, just, uh, I'm just talking about you, uh, Miss Eudora. What do you do here now? I am the assistant coordinator of the summer camp. Oh my God, summer camp is coming. What do you awesome. say to the people who say, you know what? I go to come. work every day and I'm just gonna leave the kids here at home. What do you say? Come, 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 come. Right. come. Got right. something fun. Got something fun. Learning. Learning. Educational. And yes. networking and kids being yes. kids together. Yes. And you know what? It's nothing like worried about where your children are at, what they're going to be doing, who they're doing it with, right? That's right? And you know, good well, when you tell your kids, listen, do not go outside this house, do not open this door, what they going to do? Mm -hmm. They're going to go outside. They're going to go outside. They're going to go with their friends. And open their and door. And open their door because I did it. <laughs> hey, who do we have over here with us? Hi, I'm April Casey with Serving with the Badge. We partner here at Kingdom House. Oh, my God. Listen, so tell me, how important is it for kids to understand what the whole Serving with the Badge program is? Tell everyone. Well, and stand up over here with us, girl. You know, like you got your badge over there. <laughs> we coming over here. Serving with the Badge is a nonprofit organization made up of police officers and first responders. Um, our goal is to get out and volunteer in the community to help bridge the gap between police officers and, and the community. As we know, the relations are not great. Right. So partnering with Kingdom House is a perfect segue to that because we are here with the youth. We are here with a variety of our community, and it enables us to touch a lot of lives. And it is important because every day we hear situations, we are part of the community and we want to see people to see us for as a community resource and not as someone to fear right. because we are definitely here to help and I think this is a perfect opportunity and a way to do that. Now let me tell you about the perfect opportunity. Let me tell you about the way to do that. I'm going to break it down to you all right now. You know why? Because you all are my people and I need you to understand this, right? Everybody's always giving all the police officers, oh, such a bad time. Oh, they're doing this. Oh, they're doing that. Guess what? Maybe some of them are. But let's talk about what most of them are doing. They're out here protecting Y-O-U. You think I'm playing? Let me give you a lightning round. Let's go here. I guarantee you this. If you are in an accident, the first thing you're going to do is dial 911. And you know what you're going to say? Where's the police? We want the police to come. Let somebody break into your house. What you going to do? 911. We want the police to end up coming. You know why? Because you can trust the police. The police are your friends. And for all you all at home who are saying we don't like the police and the kids don't need to like the police, you know what I want the kids to do? I want them to go right now and dial 911 on you. You know why? Because these police are here to help you. I think this program is so wonderful and good because it goes back to remember when we were growing up, people wanted to be police officers and, and firemen and all that kind of stuff. And you coming down with this program here at Kingdom House, you know what? You must be our people. I get your people. <laughs> so what do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. It's the Kingdom House. We're having fun today, okay? <laughs> okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. Guess what? I'm at my favorite place. I'm at Natalie's in the Central West End. That's why, is it a steak? Is it seafood? Maybe it's vegetarian. Hey, maybe it's just dessert. Or maybe you just want to come out and hang out with your friends on the patio and have a nice refreshing drink. Whatever it is, Natalie's has got it. And most of all, they've got the great hospitality and great ambiance just for you. Natalie's in the Central West End, okay? <laughs> okay. What do you say, what do you say, it's Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. Hey, I'm always trying to look out for you and bringing you the very best. Hey, listen, I got the very best for you right now. If you're coming here, you should be calling Richard Banks, 721-4040, 721-4040. Hey, is it medical malpractice? Did your doctor do you wrong? Did the hospital do you wrong? Hey, maybe it was a car accident. Did you get all jammed up? Was it their fault? Was it your fault? Hey, and most importantly, workers' compensation. Hey, listen, did you get injured at your job and they don't want you to be taken care of now, right? Richard Banks, he's got the answer for all of those needs. I need you to give my friend Richard Banks a call at 721-4040. You know why? He got the hookup. Holla if you hear me, Richard Banks, attorney at law. If you've got a phone, you've got a lawyer. Richard Banks, attorney at law, 721-4040, okay? <laughs> okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. Guess what? I got my people. It's all about the kids. Young people, make some noise. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, listen. So, we get down here today, and they say, who asked me was I a king? Who, who asked me that? You, did, what, you didn't ask. I ain't even seen you. Come over here. Now, why you just stand up here and tell me that? You know good well you didn't ask me was I a king. Get over here to me. Get over here to me right now. What's your name? Bashir. Hey, Bashir. That's a cool name. What you doing down here today? 
Me, because um, I'm in the after school program. Uh huh. You like the after school program? Uh huh. So it's to keep you safe uh -huh. and you get a chance to learn a lot? Uh huh. That's what's up. Listen, where's those girls at who asked me, Was I a king? There they go, right there. Stay over there. I'm coming over to you, right? What's your name? Huh? Zoe. Zoe, and what's your name? Josiah. Now, what did you ask me? I asked you, is the real king? I am the real king, girl. I'm the king of hospitality. So that must mean you're a real princess. Is that right? Yes. You're not no princess. No. How you know you're a princess? Huh? My mama always said that. Because your mama always said that, and guess what? Mama is right. Little princesses and little princes. You all cool. What's your name? Ellen. Hey, Ellen. Edgar. Edgar. Edwin. Are y'all triplets? No. Uh-huh. Y'all brothers? No. You're my cousin. Okay, Alan, Edward, and Edwin. You know what I'm saying? It's all of them. Now, listen. Who said, what about your show? And then I came back in here, and somebody was watching the show. Who was watching my show? Oh, what were you watching it on? YouTube, come here, come here, come here, come here, Miss YouTube. Hey, listen, I want to let you all understand this. These children are smart these days. Do you understand what I'm saying? They know how to YouTube, they know how to Facebook, and they know how to count. And they know who is right, and they know who is wrong. Listen, if you have a passion and you have a love for children, make sure that you let that passion and love show. What you doing over here? What's your name? Where you come from? Demorian. Would you just want to be on TV too? Yeah. Well, go on and say I'm Demorian and I want to be on TV. I'm the one and I wanted to be on TV. <laughs> you know why? Because he ain't nothing but the truth. Come in. Where's my girl at? Come in with the YouTube. Who? Well, who was it? And you know what I, else I love about children? Children will tell on each other. All you got to do is say, who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Huh? And they start pointing out. Right? Now show me. Show me me on YouTube. Who got it? Oh, you got it. Girl, see, they got it. You. You see what I'm saying? I left out, they say, are we watching you on YouTube, Mr. Gary? I come back in, and guess what? Right like that, bam. Did y'all like the show? Yeah. What was I doing on the show, y'all? Some funny stuff. You know what? We're doing funny stuff. And you know what we do? We entertain, we excite, we educate, and we engage. And today, Kingdom House, we're doing all that with these young people, right? Are y'all going to have fun this summer? Yeah. What do you say what he says, Mr. Gary? I'm with my new friends right here at Kingdom House. Okay? Ha, 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 ha. Can you wear my... You, how many kings you know take their crown off and let people wear them? 16. Okay, well, when you count to 16, go to the 15th one and wear his. Okay? <laughs> okay, go get his then. Okay? <laughs> okay? Okay. What do you say? What he says, Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. Why am I the king of hospitality? Because I got your hair. That's right. I got your hair, and it's right there. I said it. You need to get down here to Hollywood beauty. You know why? Because this is where the beautiful people come, and they want to make you beautiful. And you know how they're going to do it? They're going to do it with Brazilian hair. That's why I said it right. Barbers, beauticians, and students. Guess what? They got it. They got a 10% discount for you. And look, they got everything that you're going to need to do the do's. They got it. Now, you know your people need some accessories. Hollywood Beauty, <laughs> they got it. What else do your people need? Your people need some clothes. Hollywood Beauty, <laughs> they got it. Cosmetics, lipstick, guess what? Even lashes. Hollywood Beauty, guess what? Y'all say it, they got it. If you're going to do the thing, do the thing. Put some real hair in your head, girl. Brazilian hair is in Hollywood Beauty. What do you say? What do you say? Get down here. Hollywood Beauty has the Brazilian hair. They got it. All types of hair. Synthetic hair. All hair just for you, you, and of course you. Kids, they are turned up. They having a great time. And guess what? Because they see the king, then they say that they want some wishes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about what your wishes are. Tell us who you are. What's your, what's your wish? I want Pokemon. Pokemon. Okay, you got to do good in school and you'll get Pokemon. What you want? <laughs> she just want to smile. Keep smiling. You'll do good. What's your name? Zoe. What you want? A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars, girl. All you got to do is go home and get that Monopoly game and get, count you out a thousand dollars, okay? I want peace. You want peace? Do it just like this. Peace. You just got it. See there? What's your name? What you want? My name is Moy. And I want all money. All, um, how much money you got in your pocket right now? None. Okay. <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's all the money you're getting right there. Nothing, right? Oh, you, what's your name? Kaylee. What you want? Nothing. You don't want nothing? No. But well, guess what? Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Now you got it. There you go. I want, uh, I want Shopkins. You, you want some short pants. Shopkins. Shocking. What is shocking? It's, it's a little toy. It's a little toy. Shocking. And I got little faces and expressions. Okay. Okay. What you want? Barbie. Okay. Okay. What you want? I want. 
You want, y'all got I want, friends, I right? want more friends. You want more friends? Oh my God, how oh, sweet, right? But you gotta get the right friends, right? You gotta get friends that are good, they do good in school, and they love their mommy and daddy. Those are the kind of friends you need, okay? Okay. Okay, can, 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 can what you want, what you want? I want a pup puppy dog. A puppy dog? Say roof, roof. Say it, roof, roof. roof. Puppy dog, she just got it, see there? I want to fly. You want to fly, let me do your arms like this. There you go, R. Kelly, I believe I can fly. You see what I'm saying? It's simple. It's all about an imaginary world with kids having good. Who do we have right here with us? Antoine Rook. Antoine, man, listen. How many years have you been down with the children? Can you hold on? Can I talk to the man first? 26. 20, yeah. 26 years. Yeah. Antoine, you've seen a lot. You've seen them come, you've come seen them go. go. Right. What is the one constant in all the children? It doesn't make a difference what, what uh, age barrier you're working with. What do they all have in common? Uh, they all very sweet, nice, uh, good kids. They're real good. Now, hold on a second. See them, young people. He said he's been here 26 years. He know good and well he ain't seen all these sweet, nice, good kids, right? He didn't seen some that was turned up. Do you hear me? He didn't seen some that went this way or that way. But like you said, at the end of the day, all kids want us to be loved. Yeah, yeah right. That's it. They and, need love. And, and when your kids and your grandkids or the neighborhood kids are acting out, that's because y'all not showing them enough love. Y'all yeah. not taking time to let them know, mm -hmm. hey, we love you all mm -hmm. and we want you to do good, right? Right, right. Antoine, what do you all have coming up that we want everybody to check out? Oh, well, right now I'm back with sports this summer and okay. we're Redbird rookies, so we, okay. uh, we got a big social coming up this okay. Saturday. Signing up kids. Okay. So, so it's open to the does, community. And how long does the sports activities go for the summer? Oh, okay. We'll be through probably middle of July. July. So, yeah. so what do they need to do? Who do well, they need they to do, call? Just come on by Kingdom House uh, Saturday about 1 o'clock. Give them the address? Right. Uh, 1321 South 11th Street. And who they need to ask for? Uh, they'll see us. We'll have ice cream, cake, and all kind of all right. stuff. Okay. So listen. Maybe you don't want to come down for the socialization. Maybe you don't want to come down. <laughs> Up, but need, no, no, they might not want to come down for that. But if they just want to come down yeah, for the cake right, and the ice cream, right. they can yeah, it's a community <laughs> thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay.